Aretha Franklin grew up in the north end of Detroit and went on to single-handedly symbolize the hard-driving sounds of the Motor City. With success in high gear, she followed all the signs and moved on to New York and Los Angeles. But in 1984, she took the freeway back home and parked in suburban Detroit. Now she's found her dream home in swanky Bloomfield Hills. The intensely private Aretha invited us for an exclusive tour. But even Ree called in the caterers for her housewarming party. It was the social event of the Motor City, and our cameras were there. I give a party maybe twice a year. We have great fun. And yes, I love a good party. It's a way of relaxing and for me and getting together with friends and people that I don't see a lot. Celebrities flew in from both coasts to fate the mistress of the mansion. The dazzling guest list included a television lawyer and the lead singer of the legendary Four Tops. The vocals were courtesy of one of the most respected singers in the entertainment world. Do you ever think about a time when you won't sing, or do you plan on singing right to the end? Definitely not. I will be like Perry Como. Uh, I saw him in this skit, and he's quite gray at this point, and he's laying down on the couch like this, but he has that microphone right there. And that'll be you? Yes. Singing is my first love, and it certainly is my forte.